One. Let's go. Oh, this is fucking good. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Girl, I thought I was still in the morning show. You are. <laughs> Girl, I thought we were about to have fag talk. We are. We're talking about a fag right now with a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> a petty hot, a petty whole ass gossiper. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I guess we might end up staying on petty this day. What happened with petty? Come on. A disappointing video, but nonetheless, here goes. So earlier this week, I was told by my management company that um, the Netflix scripted series called The Upshaws were interested in casting me for a part. Uh, in Upshaws, it's Mike Epps and Wanda Sykes. Um, directing this particular episode is Kim Fields. Um, I was excited to do it. It's a comedy. I love comedy. I used to have a comedy show out on the road, some of you guys know. So comedy is something that I love to do and, and was really happy to do it. Uh, as the talks went on, we agreed upon whatever we agreed upon. Um, I was fly out to I was to fly out to LA on Tuesday. Uh, they told me that Portia William Gubadia was also playing in this particular series. She would be side by side with me. Excited. I haven't seen Portia. Uh, we always have a good laugh when we see each other. So I was just like, okay, so me and Portia are going to kill this part. I get to um, uh, LA on Tuesday. They tell me to go straight to, you know, to the studios. I need to go into wardrobe. Uh, once I got into wardrobe, um, I chosen to wear like this silver color. Uh, they showed me a picture of Portia. They said the Portia's wearing something similar in color and uh, maybe I would choose something else because we were going to be, you know, side by side doing this scene. No problem. Um, I gave them a whole different look. Um, they told me we were going to be having rehearsal. Um, at rehearsal, I didn't see Portia. There was a stand-in. Uh, we broke for lunch. We came back. We were going to do a whole run-through. I still didn't see Portia. Uh, I'm just waiting to see Portia, right? I'm excited to see Portia. I'm like, well, I want to, you know, make that Portia on set. So me and her can chop it up. So Portia never came. Uh, we wrapped for the evening. I went back to my hotel. When I got to my hotel, production called me and asked me if I had any issues with any housewives because they were going to be casting, recasting the other position. And I was like, oh my God, no, like what? And um, they were going to recast the position that Portia was playing. I was like, what? Why? And they said, do you have any issues with Kim Zosiak, Cynthia Bailey, Marlo Hampton? And I was like, no. Like, I just saw Kim recently and we talked. Um, I saw, I, I talked to Cynthia Bailey often. I talked to Marlo Hampton often. Um, no. Like, they ultimately cast Cynthia Bailey and she was flown out to L.A. on Wednesday. We did the uh, part together. Um I was later told that Portia did not show up to work and had said that she did not want to work with me, that we had had uh, issues from the past and she did not want to work with me. Let me take that in for a second. Listen, I am more than disappointed. Portia and I have double dated a few times, okay? Um, okay. She did all of that bloviating just to say that Portia didn't want to work with her. There's your word, bloviating. She did all of that. <laughs> I she did all of that song and dance just to say that. And girl, where'd she get this fancy talk from? Tuesday. <laughs> Hold she starts speaking on fancy Craig, like that. Craig, hold on, Keisha. Hold I'm on. Listening. Let's do this. Let's do this. Girl, that was three and a half minutes of nothing. Let's do this, okay? This is what we're going to do. slit my wrist. <laughs> we're going to go ahead on and we're going to lift her up. And then we're going to tear it down. Please. And then lift her down. Okay, well, you lift her up because I've already started tearing her down. All right. <laughs> Nene looks amazing. She does. Now, bitch, who knows she has? I don't know whose nose, cheeks, or eyes she got, but bitch, <laughs> let me tell you, whoever it is, that bitch look good. She, she don't, she don't look like that Tasha K surgery. <laughs> that bitch look good. <laughs> Nene look good as fuck. 
She does look good. Now, the, the Lanithia closed up, but she does look good. Well, we knew the Lanithia was going to close anyway. Child, we sure did. Because I'm not going nowhere to have no cocktail called the Lanithia. <laughs> I like that. Now, it should be a yacht. She should look into making yachts. Girl, it needs to be a... Uh, uh, oh, that would be a... She, I really man. think that she should get that some facts. That maybe. Some real facts around her that could tell her, girl, you need to... The, you don't call a building a Lanithia. You call oh, a, a yacht. Li- a yacht. Not so, no bar and grill. She should go... <laughs> 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 Not no bar and grill. <laughs> girl, where you gonna get where you get those wings from the Lanithia? Girl, no. No, what are you go, what are you chartering out to go see your in the, the Lanithia? The Lanithia. Not That's right. That's, that's yeah. right. You need a couple fags. That's Lanithia. right. A boat. A name of a boat. You need a couple actually, new yeah. fags. You need a new set she needs of fags. Because she got some fags around it. But th- those girls should have told you, honey, that instead of naming a building Lanithia, the Lanithia girl, you should have went out there, honey, and got you a motherfucking, got invested in you some yacht. Some nautical shit. That's <laughs> right. Especially with her, with that new tone. Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> girl, sound like you out on the Riviera. On Chris Tuesday. was losing it. <laughs> Yeah, I, Craig was losing. I looked at that time. I said, "We're not about to sit here and listen to seven and a half minutes of this." <laughs> yeah, Craig said, "Cut it, please." Craig I'm said, "Nini, you need you way too long. You need to <laughs> cut it, please." So here's my thing. I uh, here's the thing. I personally think that mm-hmm. uh, again that this was a whole thing of phoniness. Mm. Portia, you're phony. I don't give a fuck how pretty you are. You're phony. You been phony when you was in there with that motherfucking uh with that with that when you walked in that woman's house and left with that woman's husband. <laughs> and, you, and you see how karma and we all see, see how, how karma quickened. We all see how that worked out. You walked in that woman's house and you left with that woman's husband. That was an act of phoniness. I don't give a fuck if she was your friend or not. You walked in that woman's house. Yeah, that's messed up. You left with that woman's husband. Now listen, not to say that he doesn't have anything to do with it because that's his dick that followed her right behind the door. True. So they're both at fault. But you, ma'am, walked in that woman's house and left with that woman's husband. That's phony. That don't mean you're disliked over here at the motherfucker. Because I, I, bitch, I think that you are gorgeous. I think that Portia is a gorgeous bitch. And that bitch, ha! Yes, indeed. That bitch have be snatched. <laughs> Where the big girl? That bitch have be snatched. <laughs> yes, indeed. I want to tell you, there ain't many motherfucking people that I who I give uh, up about that hair, but that Portia, that Portia, whatever her new last name and old right. last name is, <laughs> that bitch have be snatched. Let me tell you, every time she show up on that camera, she look like she bitch got candy's that money. That be that is what she is. look like she got candy's money. Now, Candy's the richest bitch over there. And, and you know it. But she looks like she got Candy's money. That bitch have be gathered up and snatched. No, you always say Portia always be looking good. Now, she, Portia do. Be, Portia looks say, amazing. Mm-hmm, with those stretch pieces she be but wearing. But that does not negate the <laughs> fact that she is phony <laughs> amongst women. It's funny that we're talking about this. I love the Upshaws. On, on Netflix. Me too. I actually enjoy I, I it. love that show. I actually it's hilarious. Really enjoy it. yeah. I just ran into Mike Epps on my way here. Oh, <laughs> really? Did? Yes. It is hilarious that we, I didn't even know we were talking about this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he fist bumped when he saw me. Huh? Mm-hmm. That's good. He likes your <laughs> outfit. Such a nice guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, mm. Are we done with him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But where are we going next? What? No, we're not done with Nene. Oh, oh, oh. Go no, ahead. We're not finished with Nene. Oh, okay. Because you didn't let us get to the end. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Well, Here's the thing. Nene, you got to understand this, right? Mm. Portia got her job back over there at Bravo. You don't. No shade. Portia got her job back over there at Bravo. You don't. Yes, y'all was out in the Hamptons, which, which y'all should have charged, which you, you should have had a yard. Named Lanithia, so that y'all could have chartered y'all your yacht out there in the Hamptons. Yes, y'all was in Africa together. All of the things that happened, but bitch, when it comes down, y'all are really not friends. None of you housewife girls are friends with each other. None of it. We we know this, but when it boils down to it, <laughs> Mama's got to get her check back. That That's man, fine. that African man is gone. <laughs> he he got his new boo somewhere. <laughs> that African man is gone. So she got to get back and get the gathering where the gathering was getting And at. Portia is just giving her what Nene gave her when she came to the Housewives. Oh. Oh. You see how that feels? See, see one thing about them tables, they're going to turn. Mm-hmm. They always turn. 
And so it's like she treated everybody like, oh, I'm the head bitch over here at the housewives. And she was. Past tense. But here's the thing. If she makes a grand return, bitch, those ratings will skyrocket. I don't know if they're going to do that, though. Well, they will just maybe for the two two episodes. Yeah, right. Because they want to see how she's going to get back into the swing of things. But then after that, it's going to get back the way that it was. Mm -hmm. Oh, like a cameo? Or something like a Well, I would, listen, there's no way that I would come to it, come over there as a friend of the show. And that's what I'm saying. I don't know if, she, if her ego will oh, allow okay. her to do that. Oh, okay. But I'm shocked that they gave Portia that much pull over there at the Upshaws to be like, oh, well, I don't want to. Well, Nene still did the show, though. Yeah, That's what you Portia, did. Portia, Portia just Portia did. You did, did the see, show. you, you should have watched the full seven minutes. Nene was talking too long. She should have <laughs> cut to the chase. <laughs> I didn't need all of that just to, I didn't need all of that. <laughs> you didn't need it all. Right. <laughs> Not all of that. I didn't need all of that. <laughs> what you didn't? Didn't need all of that. And what was she doing earlier? Too what? much. Bloviating. Bloviating. Okay. B L O V I A T I N G. I don't want to hear from you. I need to hear from okay, her. Okay, ask Alexa. <laughs> hey, Alexa, what is bloviating? Abdominal bloating is a short term disease that affects the gastrointestinal tract. Alexa needs a miracle ear. That bitch can't hear. She said bloated. <laughs> Say it, Craig. Maybe I'm not saying it correctly. Alexa, what is bloviating? Girl, she's over here on yellow. Girl, still. now she's on the smoke she's break. She's still over here spinning around trying to figure out her thoughts, girl. Alexa, what is bloviating? Bloviating is the act of speaking in a pompous and grand manner. It is often used to describe someone who is blowing their own horn or talking about themselves in an exaggerated way. Well, she really wasn't bloviating. Well, she was. Because she was just talking about her experience. You just It was her tone and her saying Tuesday that, that made you feel that she's low. Right. And that's, that was the first part of the definition. <laughs> Talk, was, talking in a very uppity kind of way. It was her saying Tuesday. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, that girl, no, she's from Augusta. No shade Augusta, but girl. It ain't giving all of that at Augusta. All she had, all poor, but all Portia had to say was, Nene, listen, I fuck with you the long way, but bitch, I'm back on Bravo because Simon, I got him a new bitch. We divorcing, mm -hmm. girl. And not only is we divorcing, girl, honey, I need to really get back in the swing. Into the thick of it. Oh. Into the thick of it. Because all of those wise girls know. Mm-hmm. Because Candy on a hiatus. But she will be back. I feel she it. Will. In, I feel I, it I in my heart. I think she will. I feel it in my heart that Candy will be back. Oh, so she's not on the news. No, she's not. Oh, but okay. I feel it in my heart that Candy will return because we all know that a, that a steady check Anime tomorrow you start working because we all got jobs around here and I ain't been raising no musician this girl is going to be a nurse that's right <laughs> you bring a steady check in here you bring a steady check in this house we all got jobs tomorrow you start looking <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, you start looking. That girl is going to be a nurse and bring, mm -hmm. a, and bring a steady paycheck in. That's right. Car. Who's this out here in this red convertible? Red convertible? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Make me over. Yeah. Make me nice. Mm -hmm. And when I'm done, all I want to be right. Ooh. Well, why ain't you hearing this doll? It's yelling. Molly just got her singing Ooh. like a man. I want to be made over. You want to drink? Yeah, I want to be drink. made over. I want to be made over. I want to be made over. Oh, oh, Lord. Make me over. <laughs> Make me nice. Okay. <laughs> and yes, when I'm indeed. done, oh, I want to be right. Yes, indeed. 